Good morning, welcome back to the 30 and 30, 30 vlogs in 30 days. My name is Mike, this is our Wyoming Life. And uh, we're heading out for our second check of the day. Our first check actually takes place at first light, whatever time that is, whenever the sun rises. And Jeff usually catches that one. And I know that he's been kind of missing from the, from the vlogs here lately. And that's because Jeff has really been taking care of nighttime checks for me. Um, basically how it usually works is I, uh, film during the day, obviously while I'm working and doing everything else. About 9 o'clock at night we put the kids to bed. I go up and edit until about midnight, 1 o'clock. At midnight I go and do the midnight check and then after that Jeff takes over for me. So Jeff usually does a check at 2, 4, and then again at 6. After that we send Jeff off to bed and I take back over. So you're kind of missing out on anything that Jeff's really doing. He's kind of rolling out about noon or so and getting back to work um, but so that's why Jeff does that six o'clock check and uh, that morning check or that first light check whatever time that is and then I'm rolling back out about eight after the kids get on the bus and they're off to school and then I can go out and do another check so here's our handy dandy clipboard let's take a look and see what we're looking at today all right here we go we've got 12 calves on the ground obviously number one is no longer on this list um, so we go up to number 13 Average age is six days old. We've got four bulls, 33% of the herd, eight heifers, 66% of the herd, and there we go. That's all of our calves that are on the ground. As we head out this morning, it's not bad. Um, 20 some degrees, light wind, 10, 15 miles an hour. Um, I think our, our weather is going to straighten back out. Unfortunately, we don't have any rain in the forecast, no snow in the forecast. Um, which really doesn't look good, but things can change. Um, we're gonna get there. We do have a lot to do over the next couple weeks, so nicer weather would be nice, but honestly, I need the rain too, so it's kind of six of one and a half a dozen of the other. All right, we're gonna head up to our windbreak first. We're gonna see who's up in here and check out. Number eight, still up here with her calf, number 10. morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? I didn't, yeah. You got food in your mouth. I'm not going to give you cake. You already got food in your mouth. I'll bring you cake later, okay? All right. You guys be good. By the way, number eight does have access to water uh, about, I don't know, a couple hundred yards away is the main water tank for the cows. It's the same water tank that the cows use um, that are up in the barn or the cow shed. Uh, and we're heading that way now, although there are a few cows that are out and moving around and a couple calves too. Good morning. Hey, where are you going? Hanging off running. <laughs> calves and their stiff-legged run. Um, I'm sure you've seen that. Uh, their back legs are pretty stiff as they get out and move um, until they get a little bit older. Bambi, still waiting for her calf. We've got plenty of cows bedded down. The calves are up and playing. That's number 12 over there. Mom, keeping track of what's going on. Three. 
Number three's got herself locked inside our little fenced off area here. Good morning. Hi. Hello. All right. Come on, kiddo. A little bit of snow trying to fall. Or it could just be blowing off the roof for all I know. All right, we're gonna pull into the barn, take a little look around, make sure everybody's okay. I do like not having as many cows and being able to drive into the cow shed here. It's something I really haven't been able to do for a long time. We've got all the calves taken care of and accounted for. We've got a few other chores we're gonna go run around and do before we uh, head over here to feed these guys. And for those chores, I'm gonna need an assistant. So stop by the house really quick and grab her. This is my friend Bean. Hi Bean. How you doing kiddo? She's gonna come with us and do a few chores this morning. And go see some of her friends. You wanna go see your friends? Let's go see our friends. Bean. Ready? Um, okay. This is James. Hi. Hello, goats. Hi, goat. Oh, crap. Gate's open. Dang it. Left the gate open. Goats have escaped, but luckily I know where they go. They uh, come running right back here to the chicken food. Bean, do you want to help me get the goats back in? Yoda, come on, Yoda, come on, let's go. Get back in there, there you go. Okay, it's like goat 101, when you let out the goats, make sure the gate is closed. Let's remember that from now on. more all the goats are back in that's a start uh, chickens have already been let out by our automatic chicken door which is nice but we still have to get our meat chickens taken care of this morning really quick they're not really coming outside yet but we do give them the option of course, even the chickens aren't coming outside in this weather, but that's okay, too. Hey, guys. There's a few brave souls. Matt will be around to do his chores here in just a little bit, but we've got a couple that we just need to take care of inside the chicken house. I'll take a look at food for the meat chickens and their water. Some of them might go outside, look at that. They do need some food. Gang. Uh, 
All right, with them happy, and goats happy, and head back out. All right, I'm gonna go get the cows fed, and uh, get back in. Matt will be over to do his chores here in a little bit, and grab some breakfast, and then uh, we'll continue on with our day, so stick around. Hey, Bean, where'd you go? For breakfast? Come on, Bean. Come on, get in. All right. Hey, guys, heading back out to uh, the hay yard. Another load of hay has just arrived. Mr. Ray has brought us more hay from Missouri, so we're going to head down. Um, Jeff is already down there. He's unloading it, but we're going to head down, and we actually have to write a check, so get that done. This is the second to last load of hay that I purchased uh, out of Kansas City. So Ray, who has been, oh man, he's been awesome. He's been hauling, like I told you before, he's been hauling on the back haul. So he drives for another company uh, when he makes hauls for them, catches us on the way back, which works out just super awesome. Ray, who's now hauled 13 loads of hay for us, uh, isn't making a whole lot of money on us. He's like I said, he's hauled it on the back haul. Price of fuel's gone up. Obviously, we're we're making sure that his um, expenses are covered, but I, I I don't think he's making much money. But luckily, we're almost done. I think he's going to be happy to do, be done hauling hay up here to Northeast Wyoming. And next year, it'll be something else. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, we hopefully we can cut hay. That's our big hope. But if we can't. We'll be hauling hay once again, where we come, where we get it, where it comes from, how it gets here. That's a that's a whole other story. So we're gonna head up here. I gotta write uh, Ray a check for this load, and then one more load on the way. I don't know when that's gonna be here, but Jeff is over here unloading, and we've got more hay. Another 15 days worth of hay. There we go, three grand for trucking, another two grand for the hay, so $5,000 right there for 15 days worth of food. Speaking of food, Aaron is heading to the grocery store today, and the 30 and 30 is nothing if we don't do things we've never done before. So today, for the first time ever on our Wyoming Life, we've got a grocery haul, and it's coming up next. <laughs> Alrighty, while we're waiting for Aaron to get back from the grocery store on our big, uh, I can't remember what she called it. Not a grocery reveal. What was it? Haul? Grocery haul? Something like that. I don't know what she's talking about. But she's going to make a video about what she bought at the grocery stores. Um, we are going to head upstairs. We're back up here in the, uh, in the studios, live stream studio, sitting right over there. We're up here in the live stream studio. Uh, because Aaron said she left a little note on my desk. So let's take a look. Found it. All right, meat package changes. All right, we're changing all pork package, changing the winter comfort package. We're adding 10 pound pork chop packages. That's awesome. Um, slow cooker package, some new add-ons, including, including pork chops and bratwurst. So apparently I have to do this. So, <laughs> crooked, not only do I make the videos for our Wyoming Life, majority of them anyway, I also manage the website. And um, this is, what we're doing here is we're actually changing up the pork package, or well, all the meat packages really. And we do that once, uh, once every couple weeks. Um, that gives people a variety of meat that they order on the website. Now you have to be a Patreon supporter to, in order to order meat, to order beef and pork. You can, anybody can order beef jerky because we got plenty of that. We've got lots of that inventory. Uh, the meat itself, pork and, and beef, kind of a limited inventory. So we ask that people become Patreon supporters, which you can do for as little as $1 per month. And um, then you get access to the meat order side of the website. Once you get in there, 
the packages are always changing. So we're always sending updates and we're saying, hey, we changed this package, we did this. We're not able to offer a single steak. Let's say you want to order one pork chop. That's great. I mean, I wish we could do that. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work out because um, just the packaging material to send uh, the beef or the pork to somebody is, you know, between the box and the dry ice and the, and the, uh, um, the, the liner. Um, I don't know, it's like 20 bucks or something like that to be just all that stuff. Um, so to be able to send somebody just a steak, I, the, the packaging material would cost more than what the steak does. Um, so we don't do that. But what we do is we do packages and we have those on our website. Um, you can order those, uh, those packages. Most of them are about 10 pounds. So there's 10 pounds of beef, uh, 10, 10 pounds of hamburger, uh, 10 pounds of steaks, uh, and just kind of a variety of packs. And we build those packages, um, hopefully, um, to people's likings. I did get requests though for the 10 pound of pork chop package, which I think is pretty cool. We got lots of pork chops. So uh, we're building that one today, get that on the website and uh, just making some changes to some other ones. So it's not always chasing cows around. There's a business to run on the side of it. So I'll get to this and hopefully Erin will be here before too long and you can, you can look at her groceries, which actually, you know what, actually might be kind of interesting because I do get questions occasionally where people are like, well, how much do you spend at the grocery store? We don't have to buy protein. And I'm sure Erin will tell you about that. We don't have to buy beef. We don't have to buy pork. Uh, we rarely buy chicken, um, but... Uh, it should be interesting. Anyway, see our grocery haul, so stick around. All right, there we go. The winter comfort package, the grilling package, the ground beef package, the slow cooker package, the all pork package, and 10 pounds of pork chops. Now up on the website. I think I just heard the garage door, so that means Aaron is home with groceries, and we're going to do our grocery grab. What is it called again? I can't remember what it's called. I'll have to ask her. Uh, I cannot think of the name of it. Gro we tell you what we bought for groceries, and it's coming up. Um, also, we're going to come out and go out and check cows again and uh, see if anybody's had any calves. Okay, so this is called a, a smash and grab, no, a grocery grab. No, what is this called? It's called a grocery haul. <laughs> grocery haul. I can't, but I have been having trouble with that all day. <laughs> I cannot, okay, grocery haul. Sure. And this, people do this? Yeah. They talk about what they buy at the grocery yeah. store. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I watch people do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes it right. I think, so, I mean, people ask for cooking content and stuff all the time, and obviously I'm not cooking anything, but... What I buy for groceries is a little weird because I don't buy meat. Right. We, we talked about that. Yeah. yeah. We don't and have to buy protein. I, in the summertime, I don't buy hardly any produce. I, I just buy fruit for the kids. I did buy a little bit of produce, but I'm going to start harvesting next week. Actually, there's a few things that I can pick today in the high tunnel. So I always feel weird when I when I check out the grocery store. I'm like, we just look like we eat junk. <laughs> Let's take a look at our junk. <laughs> All right. So take us on the tour here. Okay. So, uh, is it, is it sanitary to put your, uh, your groceries on the floor? Number well, one? it did get mopped today. So okay, it did get mopped. That's right. So it's, it's and clean. I mean, it's not like we walk on it or anything. It's in the bag. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. So this is like a week's, I go every week, right? Pretty much. Um, and at the end you can, you can guess how much you think this all costs. That's a fun game to play too at the grocery store right now. Oh, and then we'll reveal it at the end yeah. of the video or something. Sure. Okay. Okay. So I buy groceries pretty much once a week. Always four gallons of milk. Oh, hold on. Four gallons of milk. This is what four gallons of milk looks like, in case nobody's ever seen that before. Uh, even Matt wanted Gatorade. Um, I got myself a salad. Mackenzie wanted grapes. I like those tomatoes. What's up, Lincoln? And you can go in a little bit, okay? <laughs> um, some lemons. I want to make a uh, roasted veg lemon couscous this week. People really go through all their bags? Yeah. Okay. All right. It'll be fine. Okay. Just... Have you never watched a grocery haul? I have never watched a grocery haul. <laughs> Look how big these Brussels sprouts are. Oh my gosh, those Brussels sprouts are huge. Okay. Okay. Um, some mushrooms, carrots. Cabbage for my... So this is all stuff that you would get out of the garden. Well, not mushrooms. Okay, but normally. If it was garden season, yeah. Uh, 
uh, broccoli. I buy broccoli like So far, week. it looks like you eat pretty healthy. Well, yeah, this is the produce section. <laughs> Bell peppers, they were on sale. Oh, I got you your pistachios that you oh, wanted. Oh, I want pistachios. Awesome. Roasted and salted. Cool. Oh, I did buy a little bit of meat. Oh. <laughs> I bought a pound of ground turkey. Oh, yeah, we don't make, have any turkeys. No. <laughs> I'm going to make turkey rice bowls with roasted peppers and like a pineapple salsa. Frito scoops. Oh, we haven't planted that Frito tree yet. <laughs> I don't have any cutie trees, although that would be really nice. Is that a, like a real thing? Or is that like a regular orange that's just small? It's a mandarin. It's a man, okay. <laughs> but they call them cute uh, halos or cuties. They're California mandarins. Okay. Grace and I eat them. Uh, rotisserie chicken, because I'm lazy and I can put that on my salad and I'm gonna make buffalo chicken dip. And we'll use these to eat the buffalo chicken dip. That's sweet. All right. Uh, a giant bag of cereal, because cereal's well, expensive and I'm converting our family to bag cereal. This is uh, Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> if we save the box, they'll never know the difference. <laughs> cereal's expensive. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I got you some stuff. You had these the other oh, day. These are good. If nobody's had, if you've never had these, these are actually pretty good. Jeff, Matt, and I finished off a whole box of these the other day, so they don't last long. But yeah, they those were are on good. sale. They're kind of expensive too, but they were on sale. Oh, there you go, my ego. Uh, so Today's video is in no way brought to you by the Kellogg or Lego My Ego Corporation. I made biscuits and gravy the other day, but I had to use frozen biscuits. I should make biscuits, but I ain't doing that. Uh, but I prefer canned biscuits. Yeah, so there you go. prefer canned biscuits but the grocery store hasn't had them forever and now i have supply chain trust issues so if you see something that's been out of stock you have to buy 17 of them is, <laughs> is this a newly diagnosable thing I, supply <laughs> chain trust issues i think it should be a thing it's I probably, get, you, you might have just coined a, i a couldn't term. get these for like six months i know right you're panicking in fact, they told her, they said, they're not going to make Fritos anymore. And it was like, <laughs> what? They're not going to make Fritos anymore. What's going to happen? Uh, butter was on sale for $1.47 a pound. So you buy butter because that's a good price. Because Paula Dean said so. Well, I use it and that's a good price. Uh, I'm going to make spaghetti this week because you asked for spaghetti and I didn't have any in the freezer. Uh, I needed Dijon mustard because we were out and it was on sale. We ate all the cocktail sauce the other night. Uh, oh, what are these? I'm lazy, and this is how I season my spaghetti. Oh. Easy peasy. Um, these are for me. This was on sale. This was not. <laughs> That's your splurge. <laughs> uh, Mackenzie will eat a bag of Doritos in two days if you leave her unsupervised. So, like that. they were on sale. If you bought two, they were only like two twenty-seven a bag. Wow. Which is a good price. You're so It's very long. <laughs> um, oh, Pop-Tarts for buy one, get one free. Really? Yeah. So you got Matt Pop-Tarts. No. <laughs> I got Mackenzie and Grace Pop-Tarts. Oh, these look fun. They were on sale too. I don't buy these weird Oreos. Nobody ever eats them. <laughs> We're gonna eat them in the live stream. Chocolate peanut butter. No, nobody's you, ever gonna eat. We're gonna have like four of these, and then they'll sit in the cupboard. You like for peanut a long butter? Time. I do, but. What about this one? It might be good. I don't. I'll try them. You like toffee? I do. All right, we'll try. I'm doing it for you. Thank you. Ketchup was on sale. Oh, I wanted to try this creamer because I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> uh, bean dip. Grace, Grace likes that. Um, we got some cheese, Mexican style, mozzarella, nacho cheese. <laughs> Plastic cheese. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. For your pretzel dogs. What do you um, got? Tortillas, because I eat uh, breakfast tacos like every morning. Oh, oh, these look good. We don't need those, but I bought Danishes. What else we got? Uh, Getting down there. We're almost done. Muffins, because the kids like these, and it's like a holiday weekend, so. True. That was the store, just being so a busy. holiday weekend. There were literally no grocery carts. I had to, I had to you go. You carried all this by hand? No, I had to go back to the parking lot, and as someone was unloading, I was like, can I have your cart? <laughs> That's a shame. 
Oh, and then there's all the canned goods. She really loaded this down. Uh, some energy drinks for Mike and Matt. This is their weekly supply. They were on sale. Uh, green chilies and olives were on sale. Cool. All right. How much do you think it cost you? So that is it. Matt, come over here. This is Aaron's grocery haul. What was it called again? Grocery haul. Oh, that's what it's called. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, this is her grocery reveal. How, when was the last time you went and actually had to go to the grocery store and buy groceries? Like 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 all the groceries for a week? Because I don't know if I've ever done it. No, <laughs> you've never done it. I've gone with with Tammy, but I. Well, I've gone five yet. years ago. Okay, yeah, I've been. There. I guess yeah, I've been there with you. Yeah, and when we go, <coughs> I I remember last summer we were like in town or something. All of us, the kids, you and I, and I was like, oh, I need groceries. Let's just go to the store. It cost us a hundred dollars more than it normally does. That's what Tammy says to <laughs> so, where I go. That's what Tammy says too. <laughs> yeah. All right. So if you had to put all this together, by the way, you got some more mean beans. Oh, nice. Thank you. Um, if you had to put this all together, what do you think? This is what's that show where they used to like try to guess the price of stuff? Price, price is right. Price is right. Yeah, but wasn't there a grocery one too? There was a grocery one. Yeah, there yeah. was. But anyway, probably before our time because we're young. I remember watching that when I got to stay home from school. Yeah. Wasn't there I, one grocery that Grocery game? Had, grocery was, games? No, wasn't there one that you had oh, to Oh, that was Guy Ferretti. Uh, oh, yeah, that was a different no, one. No, there was like a shopping one where it was like you had to go get, you had to go spend as much money as you could as fast as you could or you had to go get something that cost $1.99. Who knows what this show is? Somebody, Somebody knows. knows. <laughs> Anyway, if you had to put all this together, Matt, what's your guess price-wise? Pre-pandemic, uh, post-pandemic. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, 225 bucks. Is that your pre-pandemic? No, that's, no. What it, that's what it should be now. We're not doing what's pre -pan. Now? That's weird. That gets what's, confusing. What's your price? My guess, you said 225 Yeah. Is it whoever's closest without going over? Two twenty four. It was two twenty two thirty two. Yes. Oh, look at that! I win. Oh, yes. Yeah, see, I got it. Two twenty two. What do you win? Two twenty two thirty two. You win all of this. <laughs> oh, okay. Dun 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 dun. You dun, win dun, dun. the opportunity to put all of this away. <laughs> no doubt. Anyway, I gotta go check cows. So you guys have fun with this. With <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Can you take the, put the drinks away? Yeah, we can do that. Thank you guys for joining us on our grocery haul. Why is that so hard? I don't know why. <laughs> I cannot get that through my head, what that's called. Grocery haul. Very first time we've ever done this. Um, that's our weekly. Does, is it always the same thing every single week? Pretty close. I really, like, because I don't want to buy meat and, you know, I buy produce this time of the year and stuff, but I, like, I keep the pantry super well stocked and, like, like, I don't buy ketchup unless it's on sale and stuff. So, like, it changes some, but, like, like I don't go with a list. I just, you know, because we have meat, and I have potatoes in the pantry. So, I don't know. I just buy what's on sale. See, with, if it wasn't on sale, this would be, like, $270. Right, and pre-pandemic, this would have been, like, $38. I saved, I saved $39.98 today. Oh, sweet. And All I right. have gas points, so we'll save a dollar per gallon, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, next time we go shopping... All of us go together. Oh God! No. Take out a small loan and buy everything we want. Tammy's watching us cringing. <laughs> Don't take him. No. All right. Can't take the kids either. Grace cannot go to the grocery store. She grabs one of everything. Everything. Yeah. I want to try this and this and this and this. Yeah. You just can't go hungry. Isn't that the rule? Don't go shopping or hungry. Or with your children. Or with anybody. And your husband. Really? And your yeah. Husband, just yeah. just do it by. It's a solo sport. Yeah. It's like skydiving. You shouldn't drag anybody else along with you in that mess. So, what if you don't know how to skydive? Though? You figure it out pretty quick. <laughs> Before you hit the ground, you better learn. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to head out and check cows. We'll see how everybody's doing, and then we'll wrap things up. I'm hungry. What's for dinner? Frozen pizza. <laughs> you didn't buy a frozen pizza. <laughs> There's some in the freezer. <laughs> Supermarket sweep was the name of the game show. I think. It was like back in the 90s. Am I wrong? I think you're right. I don't know. I, I'm just making crap right. up. <laughs>
Well, that was fun. I've never done a uh, a grocery haul before, so something different. No, I've never did it either. But it is. I, I mean, actually, we do one every single week, but I've never filmed one before. Okay, we gotta go was, go that way. We go that way. Impressive. Okay. It was smart of us meeting and jumping on the go check cows that way we don't have to put groceries away. Exactly, yeah, we yeah. go check cows. Uh, and something this is something we've done lots of times is going yeah. out and checking cows. Uh, temperature outside in the mid twenties. We're looking for a low tonight of twelve degrees. So most of these girls should be okay. I think your door's rattling around, isn't it? Most of these girls should be okay tonight, and they are starting to get a little bit spread out. So, t checking, uh, they're still inside the triangle pastures. So they can't go too far, but it won't be too much longer, and the weather's going to get nicer, and they're going to want out of here. So, yeah. um, we're going to have to enjoy having them in here and making this easy while they can. There. I'm going to give you a kiss. No, 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 we're not doing that. Okay, see, see you later. You made a friend. Yep. A friend for life. The windbreak repopulated today with some new cows. Number eight looks like she's vacated along with her calf. For now, anyway. So I think all the cows took me serious when I said, you know, cross your legs through the storm. But at this point, we might as well start having calves again. And yeah make me feel a little better if we did but we shall see probably have two tonight maybe maybe see she got it <laughs> directly from the hand can you get her to catch yeah <laughs> not a dog <laughs> I'll tell you what, there ain't no way I'm getting out of this gator. No, I wouldn't either. She's like a freight train. When she gets moving. Well, here she comes. Here she comes. She's got a tongue like a giraffe. Yeah. So you can see that you burr half with her. No, oh, nice try. Always try to kiss you. Oh, yeah. They're not blind. They're not blind. <laughs> I know, it's irresistible. Oh, yeah. So, occasionally we get a calf that likes to play dead. Uh, earlier today, Erin called me and she said, You have to go check this calf right now. Um, she was up in the attic and looking out the window and she saw a calf that was laying yep. in, a, in a position that was not um, conforming to the way a calf should lay. Oh. Like this one right here. Yep. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm fine. I'm up. Sometimes they just get all splailed out. It's just disconcerting. Like this one. Yeah. Soak it up the sun. down here lots of lots of babies right in this area all right we're gonna head up to the cow shed as many chickens hang up in here I should call them call it the chicken shed but yeah. let's see what's going on up here Bambi over there still hasn't had her calf Raymond for some reason. I talked I talk last night there were six of them and the, the hill. All playing King of the Hill? Yeah. Should at least say right. See? She just sees me and she gets up. Hey girl, how are you? You're so gentle. Alright, Sunday, right? We're still off for Sunday? Yeah? Okay. Just for now, I need to know. You know, if you give her enough cake, you can actually displace the calf. Really? <laughs> Why do you want to mess with me like that? See you later. 
<laughs> you just fill them up with cake and it just pushes the calf out the other end. Uh, all right, that's it. Nothing else going on out here. Relatively relaxing day, but sometimes that's a day in the life of Mike and Matt. I mean, I got a thought. Did you really? Did it hurt? It did. Before we go in, we should go check the farthest cow. Because I don't think she's done yet. <laughs> you think we're going to get roped into putting away groceries? Uh, you know, never know. You never know. Let's go. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll just drive for a bit and see what there happens. There we go. Yeah, we'll take a look around. Thank you, though. You have nothing in your bag. All righty, heading into the holiday weekend. We hope you guys have a great holiday. We'll be back tomorrow with another edition of the 30 and 30. That'll be number 17 as we're cruising along, heading towards that 24-hour live stream taking place at the end of the month, and lots of fun coming up with that. We still have more calving on the way, lots of projects coming up, some nicer weather will get us out and working. And uh, hopefully we don't let up right here on the 30 and 30 on our Wyoming life. Beep, beep. <laughs>